guys, I'm Sam Mills. Welcome to another episode of Finals Fever right here on SG Center Square's official YouTube channel. Not that there would be any unofficial because nobody watches us for a start. So if you can help people to come and watch us, subscribe, favorite, any of that stuff would really help us out. So appreciate if you did that. Okay, so it is the first day or first final. And it is Geelong versus Hawthorne coming up in less than an hour. It is 6.50 right now. And after the game, we'll do this in two segments. There will be a pre-game rundown. And, yeah, should be as easy as that. So, uh, just Geelong-Hawthorne. It should be a thrilling battle. Um, player of the match, I'd have to say, I'm expecting will be uh, Buddy Franklin. He will make a massive impact in this game, having had the week off against Gold Coast, he'll be ready, fit and firing and I reckon he will kick six. And I reckon I I actually think Geelong will win, but I'm not like I've explained days as September. Uh but I think uh Geelong will win by seven points. So that's my tip for the game. Uh if you wanna tell us your tips, put it in the comments below. Or actually no, you can't tell us your tips because this is going to go on YouTube after the game. Just tell us if you got your tip right. And do it. So, uh, so it's because I, I can't watch games that are delayed. I just can't do that. Um, so that should be good for all Melbournians. I think it's going live across the country actually. Actually, so uh, that's very good for. Um, so yeah, that's uh, just about it for the pre-game. Um, okay. Uh, remember to check our Twitter feed at, at the live dates during every single AFL match this year and during the finals will be red hot on those updates. Also, if you would like to check out at SGTV2AFL, they are sort of our neighbours, if you can call it that. Uh, yeah, they help us with the updates sometimes as well, so check them out. Uh, we'll be back with the after game now. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Finals Fever. Um, we've just seen a game of football go on between Geelong and Hawthorne, and Geelong were victorious, 98 to 67. Yep, that's the right score. And but obviously that was not the biggest story of the night. The biggest story of the night is Buddy Franklin going down with an ACL slash PCL injury. We're not too sure, but when we get news, we'll get it straight to you via our Twitter account. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be very hard from Hawthorne from now with no tools. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be tough. They'll have to play the winner of St Kilda versus Sydney, and it, from favourites, uh, well, I'm not even too sure if they're favourites, um, but St Kilda are really coming good at the right time of the year. And I think that they might be able to just get on top of the Hawks next week, actually. I'll just give you some of the game facts. Uh, that's the first time the Cats have defeated the Hawks in a final since 1963, which was a year that the Cats were victorious in. And that's the Cats' biggest win over the Hawks since 2005. Uh, that is Geelong, Geelong's fifth straight preliminary final since 2007. Uh, and now I'll give you some game stats. Buddy kicked four before he went off. Uh, I actually tipped him to kick six and be the player of the match. So I'm not sure if that sort of works if he was the player of the match, but he was definitely the biggest news of the match. Uh, Poxy Adley had three, Grant Virtual and Stevie Johnson each had 27 disposals. So that's the uh, facts and stats for the game. Uh, just a few observa observations. Uh, Ryan Schoenmakers did not look confident out there at all. Uh, either Hawthorne needs to drop him next week or he needs to get a bit more confident because really uh, he turned it over a lot tonight, a lot of out of bounds on the pool. Stevie J wasn't as economical as he could have been. He uh, t also turned it over a lot. He wasted a lot of shots on goals even though they were in in front, when he did miss the shots, uh, you gotta you gotta kick those goals. You gotta kick them and not just waste them away. Uh, I think 
the thing that really gave Geelong the victory was in the third turn when they kicked, I think it was about three goals in a row. That's really what gave them the victory. If Hawthorne had have held them from there, I reckon that they still would have had a chance, especially in the last quarter when they came out and kicked the first goal. But, uh, you know, it wasn't to be. It's going to be very hard for Hawthorne here, as I said. Um, yeah, St. St. Kilda coming good, but not to write off Sydney or anything. Because they can still defeat uh, Sydney. Sydney can still defeat St. Kilda, as happened a few weeks ago. But it is in, at Etihad, and St. Kilda played very well there. Okay, that's just about wraps it up for tonight. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you want to tweet us, go to Finals Fever. Sorry about that. If you want to tweet us, go to Finals Fever. Uh, no. Hashtag Finals Fever. And, yeah, join us for tomorrow's show, which will be likely after the I get back from the Cornwall West Coast game. So, enjoy your weekend. Hope your team wins. And this is West Coast. See you guys.